But this video is to just demonstrate and talk about a few of the subtleties that you should think about if playing traditional grip. So if you're playing traditional grip, watch the other videos first, then go through these. So the first one is eight on a hand. Now we talked about the concept of multiple stroke. That's smooth, continuous motion. At this point, we're still holding onto the stick completely and developing our wrist. So these are medium height exercises. And just like we talked about holding onto the right hand, left hand is the same thing. You've got your stick placed well in your hand. All of the skin is on the stick. Your hand's relaxed, but you're, you've got a hold of the stick. Don't let yourself, once you start playing actual exercises, get sloppy and loose on your stick. You're gonna take this smooth motion of multiple stroke, and we're gonna apply it to this first exercise you see on the screen, eight on a hand. So here's the exercise. We've got eight hands, eight notes on the right hand, eight notes on the left hand. One, two, three, and four. Now, all the details I talked about in the previous videos about that exercise apply here, but unique to traditional grip might be helpful to think about a couple of things. First of all, if you're still developing your hand to be able to hold the stick and play traditional grip properly, once you start playing with both hands like this, it's easy for things to start to fall apart. So the first thing is just continue to focus on keeping this stick up here, using a nice smooth motion, make sure the bead goes straight up and down, and work to match your stick heights on the left hand to the right hand. Let's do that again together. One, two, three, and four. It's easy to have the left hand be low. Sometimes people will do this. They just don't get that left hand up where it should be to match the right hand. So, just work through the exercise, continue to focus on getting that smooth motion with your left hand. Now the next exercise on this page is bringing the hands together to play alternating 16th notes. The motion of each hand is still multiple stroke, but when you bring that left hand in, watch the timing, get it up there, and get it smooth and even so the rhythm, so it matches the right hand. Now another benefit of these little traditional grip videos is, in my opinion, is not to re-explain the exercises all over again, because I already did that in the previous videos, but for you just to have a chance to see me play the exercise, look at my hand, watch, and work to copy to get your left hand to look like my left hand. So let's just play this next exercise several times through, and play along with me, or watch my left hand, and play along, but just use this video demonstration to really see what how the left hand's supposed to be working. Remember, here's another, common mistake when people start playing with both hands the left hand will start moving down remember that idea that things have got to lift upward you got to pull this part of your hand up and keep that nice upward motion going on the left hand so here's the second exercise a measure of eighth notes a measure of sixteenth notes one two three and four Keep working on it, go through all the other videos in detail, and let's go on to the next lesson.